Hi guys, welcome back to the new video. Last video we explained why it wasn't worth it to do these sextant heavy foul orb maps anymore in Legion. Reason for this was probably because the Legion boxes don't drop extra loot, or at least I don't think they do. From the test it seems like they don't. Um, and we figured out burial chambers is the best choice for now. Um, obviously <laughs> the chance for the doctor doesn't doesn't make it any worse as well so I figure loads of you are going to try and get the headhunter uh, since it's so expensive this league and I wanted to help you guys with that a little bit so what I've done is I've ran the 100 burial chambers that we did for the city squares video and now I have um, gotten myself some nice magic find gear with the Ventil's gambles um, Sedima's Touch, Gold Worms, and the Bisco's Leash, and then of course the Wind Ripper, uh, which nets us, and you can't see it right here, but I can. Um, it nets us a total of 55 increased quantity, and that's without the Wind Ripper. So, what this means is fucking money everywhere, man. Or at least it should. Um, before we start to get into the actual sheets here, the things I um, was kind of scared about, scared, you know, um, was the boxes again. The Legion boxes do not, um, they don't seem to, they don't seem to change the amount they drop from the actual quantity on the maps, um, particularly the splinters, uh, which you make the emblems with. Those are load, uh, worth loads. And it doesn't seem like like that's influenced by the quantity on the maps, and that's a bit strange to me. Um, but I guess they have reasons for this. Maybe it's always been the case that items from chess don't benefit from quantity. Who am I to say? Um, if one of you knows, please leave it down in the comments below, because I would love to know this. Um, and also please leave in the comments what do you expect do you expect it to be better to run the magic find or do you expect it to be better to just run your magic uh, your movement speed build uh, just to clear more quickly i honestly thought that it it wouldn't matter i thought you have around bet anywhere between 55 and 70 percent magic find which normally in normal leagues um is much better and now you can run the monoliths faster with the movement speed, that's true, but between 55 and 75% faster. Like if you just go by the math and you're just a noob like I am, you would think, well, I'd have to do it 70, close to 70% faster with the movement speed build, and I didn't. I wasn't that much faster with movement speed build, except for the fact that, and let me just get to the, um, let me just get to my stash real quick. What I was really missing um, was this. My darling, darling, the taming. Let me just put that on there because gameplay-wise, the movement speed is just so much more smooth. It's so much more smooth that it's actually insane to me. But without further ado, I, I guess you guys actually do want to know which... Uh, which were my findings so let's just jump into the spreadsheets so before I say anything else let me just point out it's 2 20 in the morning I've been up till uh, since 9 this morning to make all these videos for you guys um, so if you do enjoy it please like the videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's a lot of work that goes into this um, making all these spreadsheets, working all this stuff out. So I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is the spreadsheet you've seen earlier this week um, when we did the 100 burial chambers with the movement speed build. I would say this took me around close to four hours, uh, three and a half, four hours, something around that time, which was, of course, on stream on Twitch um, with and coffee all that sort of stuff so I didn't think it was too bad um, with the magic find I found that I wasn't able to always open up the entire legion and I wasn't always able to 
uh, keep myself from dying against some of the generals. Um, the killing was very slow. Uh, even if need your armor, twenty-eight percent quality. I do. Fuck it, B and E. I do, but it's for another time. So sorry about that. What was I saying? Okay, so I couldn't, I couldn't open up all the, um, I couldn't open up all the monolith uh, monsters, and I, 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 just couldn't keep myself from dying. So I was dying sometimes. As you can see, I'm still level 90, and I lost XP from last time, um, and that's actually terrible. So, gameplay-wise, it wasn't that enjoyable to do it with the magic find gear. And while I was playing it, I didn't have a clue um, if I was finding more or less items. But it didn't necessarily feel like I was finding so much more items, but I did get lucky a couple of times with a six link weapon and this and that. So when I actually put everything into the sheet here, I was actually quite surprised. As you can see, I put a little bit of uh, incubator stuff here. Um, I just used the incubators for this one because I did as well in the old one when I rendered with movement speed but for future reference guys um, I think and that's just my personal opinion if you're really saving up for something um, don't use them just sell them uh, it's personal preference as well because there are some things like this uh, serrated fossil you can get from the um, from the actual incubators and excuse me if you do find them they can be worth quite a bit I just wouldn't because on the magic find one I didn't find a single good fossil I didn't find anything from the incubators that was actually worth it but as you can see the actual costs of the maps are completely the same they weren't because I used more uh, scouring orbs on the magic find one but um, it doesn't really matter if this was 100, uh, 250 chaos then this one should also be the same uh, just for this video sake if we go into the actual currency we found, um, I was surprised because if we grab the calculator, oh, look at this. So on the movement speed one, we had 971.067. And then on the magic find one, so we divide that by 1127.892 is 86% right you get 86% of the loot if you get of the pure currency worth value if you use the um, movement speed and that's to me that's a bit strange so 1127 um, divided by let's just do it the other way around it's a bit easier 1.16 times the loot as you guys know we have 1.55% quantity minimum so that just goes to show how many of these currency items come from either the chests they come from six sockets that drop uh, which you don't find that many more maybe but we can we can show that so for the magic find one 671 jewelers and then with the movement speed 646 Fusing orbs, the same amount. Chaos orbs, I do have to apologize for this one, okay? This this can't be right. I watched it back on the stream, and I actually put the 10 stack of these chaos orbs, uh, which was this 10 stack for the empowers. But that's fine. So we even still got less chaos orbs. We did get way more of our orbs, but who really cares about that? Um, and then... For all these other ones, chromatic alteration, I have to be very honest, I didn't pick them all up. Okay, so once we go down here, I will I will highlight the ones right now that I I surely picked up. Uh Gem Cutters, Prism, Exalted Orbs, of course. Um not the blessed cartographers, scouring regret. So these are the ones I always picked up. Um and as you guys can see. I got one more exalt with the, with the magic find, but I do remember that the last 
25 maps or something on this 100 test. I didn't find an exalt. So it's a bit strange, right? Because the difference between these two is uh, 1127 minus 961, 166. How much do you think an exalt is worth right now in this test? 164. It's actually up already in one day. It went from 164 to 170. So make sure when you use a spreadsheet like this, uh, you actually change it. But if we would have found one exalt more on this movement speed build, we would have made the same. Like even here, even if we go to the total income, it's a bit strange to me how we get 1583 with the move with the magic find, then minus 1175. It's only 408 difference. And I would say that with the movement speed, it took me like 3.5 to 4 hours. And then for this one, it took me about... Uh, I started at, at 8.30, took like half an hour break. So let's say I started at 9 until half an hour ago. It took me 5, at least 5 hours. Okay? So that means... What that means is, it's not clear to me that the magic find was a bit more lucky. Okay? If you go, if you divide this, right? Okay, so let's say we made 1175 here, and that wasn't too lucky. 1175 divided by 3.5 hours. And very honestly, I think you can do this in three. I think you can do this in three, and I don't think you can do this any faster. Not with the gear I had, not the way I did it. Maybe I'm just very slow, okay? I was getting tired towards the end, so let's just say this one is three and a half hours. But even if this is three and a half hours, that's 335 an hour. Then if you go to the magic find, you divide the 1500, sorry, 1367 divided by five. Even if that's four, right? 4.5. That's 303. So, I would, I would say that it's very even. Of course, it's only 100 maps, and there's going to be some luck. Like, on this one, I found the Duresso's chest, which I put in for 50. If I hadn't found that, this would be 50 lower on the Magic Find as well. Um, it's not one of these very expensive items that I found with the movement speed. And it's not it's not clear to me and that you find that many more items with the with the magic find and I think the reason is the chests from the monolins aren't they aren't responding to your quantity on your gear for kills obviously so what do you guys think like, I didn't expect it. I expected to get like 30 to 40% more currency on this one with the magic find. And then the real problem would be how many hours does it take for me to do it with the, with the less um, optimized gear for clearing. Um, but I'm actually happy about this because running with these double tamings, oh, I swear, it's just... Uh, and then the seven league step. This is just my normal movement speed, right? That's the normal movement speed. If you go into a map, just any map, let's just do a burial chambers just to finish this off. So before we do that, let me just give you my... like my end... my conclusion, if you will. Um... I would say just go for movement speed because the thing is it's it's not that hard to build um, okay movement speed character and it's not too expensive this is for like starters right if you already have a head headhunter you should maybe even go fucking magic find man because if you have a headhunter you're quick as hell anyway but if you do not if you need to get these this Ventus gamble Okay, this one. This one cost 8 exalt. This one. 
This one costs 5 exalt. These boots, 3.3 exalt. With this gear, 2 exalt. 2 exalt. The only reason mine are more expensive is because I got the full 30% elemental uh, resistances. You can get cheap tamings for 2.5 exalt. It's easier to work towards. These 7 league step boots, 2 exalt maybe. Uh, you don't even need these. You can get 30% movement speed on your boots. Then grab one of those jade amulets for the 10% movement speed on your neck. Then just grab two um, two rings with good base damage and elemental damage with attacks. Grab a necklace with base damage, elemental damage with attacks, which are cheap as hell now. Instead of the brickboard squills, grab another quiver, um, which I'll keep a secret because I couldn't find it. I couldn't find which one I should take to not bloody suck without the Rickwald's quill. Um, and if you guys want to know which that one was, just let me know and I'll make a build video if that's what you want to see. So, my recommendation is just go for the movement speed. It's so much better. Like, even just look at this. Let's just run, run this real quick because it's just so juicy, man. I swear. It feels so satisfying. Everything just dies. And it's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Right, let me... Out of ice. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready for this. What's this? How many essences do you have? What? You're already dead? That's okay. Grab these real quick. Okay, I did, lo <laughs> I did lose my onslaught. That's still... You lose your onslaught. You're still hella quick with these boots. That's the thing. It's so safe. You don't die. You have so much damage. You don't really need to worry about anything. You're as fast as Superman. You can play with one hand. Look at this. I'm playing with one hand. This is all I'm doing. I'm just running. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. One hand. I do all my poachers with one hand. It's all open. It's all open. I maybe missed one more. Maybe I've missed one mob. All the elites just drop dead. It, it's brilliant. And you, you don't even have to worry about a thing. Whenever something happens that you don't like, you'll just run away. Because you're quick as shit. What I really, f what I found all the time with the other build was that every time, every time that I was looting, every time that I picked something up, um, it just took me ages before I could actually do anything because you don't have your potions up, you don't have the movement speed and it's just terrible. So that's my recommendation guys, just run the movement speed, easier to build, it's faster to clear, it's more fun, you run more maps, the only problem is does the doctor drop more? I, with the with the magic find that's something that's very important I would say if you have all the currency here and you get 16% more drops times 1.16 on the magic find I think you're more than 16% faster with the movement speed so that's my verdict on the burial chambers if you want to run a headhunter uh, farm for yourself I'd like to thank you guys for watching I'm sorry that it's a bit of a weird video right now because I'm so tired because it's so late it's already 2.35 in the morning now and um, I just hope you enjoyed it wanted to bring this uh, to you guys as soon as possible and uh, didn't want to wait till next weekend to have the time to make another video so thank you very much for watching if you did like it please like uh, this video please subscribe to the channel join me on twitch sometimes come have some fun uh, I'll see you guys later thank you very much Eddie out